In a city, books are banned. Firemen burn books. People watch screens all day. No one reads or thinks. Guy Montag is a fireman. He burns books. He does not question it. One night, Montag meets Clarice. She is young and curious. She asks, Why do you burn books? Montag never thought about it. He starts to wonder. He feels something new inside. Montag goes home. His wife, Mildred, watches screens. She is not happy. Montag feels alone. He looks at his house. Everything is cold and silent. He thinks about Clarice's question. Next day, Montag sees Clarice again. They walk and talk. Clarice shows Montag flowers. She talks about books. Montag is curious. He feels like he is waking up from a long sleep. Montag goes to work. He burns books. But now he feels sad. He looks at the flames. They are beautiful but terrible. He wonders what the books say. He wants to read. Montag asks his boss, Captain Beatty, about books. Beatty says, Books make people unhappy. They are dangerous. Montag is not sure. He thinks Beatty is hiding something. One day, Montag takes a book from a house. He hides it. At home, he looks at the book. It is old and full of words. He reads the first line. He is scared. Montag reads all night. The book talks about life, love, and thinking. Montag feels like his eyes are open now. He wants to read more, but he knows it is dangerous. Montag hides the book. He meets Clarice. He tells her, I read a book. Clarice smiles. She says, Welcome to the real world. They talk about books and ideas. Montag feels different. He sees the world in a new way. He notices things. Flowers, birds, the sky. He thinks about life. He wants to change. But he is afraid. One night, Montag's fireman team goes to a big house. There are many books. The woman in the house refuses to leave. She lights a match. The house burns with her. Montag is shocked. The woman chose to die with her books. He thinks, books must be very important. He steals a book from the house. He hides it under his coat. Montag is sick. He stays home. Beatty visits him. He talks about how books are bad. But Montag feels Beatty is wrong. Beatty leaves. Montag decides to act. He must find answers. Montag shows his hidden books to Mildred. She is scared. She does not understand. Montag says, we need to read. We need to think. Mildred cries. She wants her screens. Montag remembers an old man he met once. The man was a professor. Montag thinks he can help. He finds the professor. The man's name is Faber. Montag shows him a book. Faber is scared but excited. He talks about books and what they mean. He says, Books help us think and feel. Montag and Faber make a plan. They want to change the world. 
Faber gives Montag a small radio. Goes in his ear. Faber can talk to Montag anytime. They start their plan. Montag goes home. He feels strong but nervous. Montag tries to read with Mildred. She does not care. Her friends come over. They watch screens. Montag turns off the screens. He reads a poem. The women are upset. Montag goes to the fire station. He acts normal. But Beatty knows something is wrong. Beatty talks about the danger of books. Montag listens but does not believe him. The fire alarm rings. They go to a house. It is Montag's house. Mildred leaves. She reported Montag. Montag is shocked. He must burn his own house. Beatty watches him. Montag burns his house. But he is angry. He turns the fire hose on Beatty. Beatty dies. Montag runs away. He is a criminal now. But he feels free. Montag runs to Faber's house. They talk fast. Montag needs to escape. Faber tells him about people outside the city. They love books. Montag decides to find them. Montag runs from the city. He hears dogs and helicopters. They are chasing him. He is scared but keeps running. He reaches the river. He jumps in. The water is cold. Montag floats down the river. He is tired and cold. But he feels alive. He thinks about books and what they mean. He wants to learn more. He wants to live. Montag gets out of the river. He walks in the forest. He finds the book people. They live in the woods. They read books. They remember them. Montag is amazed. The book people welcome Montag. They show him their books. But the books are in their minds. They memorize them. Montag wants to join them. He wants to remember books too. Montag learns a book. He becomes part of it. The book people believe in the future. They think the city will fall. They will go back one day. They will help rebuild. The city is bombed. It is destroyed. Montag and the book people see the smoke. They are sad but hopeful. They walk towards the city. They want to help. Montag thinks about Clarice. He wonders if she is alive. He hopes she is safe. He remembers her questions. She changed his life. He is grateful. Montag and the book people reach the city. It is in ruins. They search for survivors. They want to help. They start teaching. They talk about books and thinking. People are scared but curious. They listen to Montag and the book people. They talk about what happened. They talk about books. They start to think and ask questions. Montag feels he has a purpose. He teaches. He helps rebuild the city. He thinks about the future. He believes in change. He knows it will take time. But he is hopeful. Years pass. The city grows again. It is different. People read and think. Montag is old. He looks at the new city. He is proud. He helped change it. Montag's story is a warning and a hope.
It shows the power of books and ideas. Montag's journey from fireman to teacher is a path to a better future. Books light the way.